Absolutely, man. First off, I want to thank God for, you know, giving me this opportunity to actually live the dream that I've been dreaming about ever since I was 13, man, to be fighting the main event here in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand, especially for a world title, WBC, Green Belt. I've been dreaming about this moment ever since I was a little kid, man, and for me to actually be living in this present and living in this moment, I'm just very thankful. So um, I want to give a shout out to, to God for that. I want to thank Golden Boy, MTK, my advisors, Eddie Hearn, DeZone, Devin Haney for actually accepting the fight as well and making this shit happen. Um, this is going to be a tremendous night of, of, of an action-packed fight. I know that Devin Haney is a really, really skilled, elusive fighter, but I'm a dog. And I'm the type of person that has already been in there and, and dealt with experience and dealt with that adversity where I know where it is to be killed or, or you get killed. And I'm just going to go out there and just do what I got to do to become victorious, no matter what it takes. If he wants to, you know, try to box, I'm just gonna hunt his ass down. If he wants to come and bang, then I'm just gonna bang it out as well. Whatever he wants to bring to the table, I'm gonna bring it. I was heard you in an interview over there saying that, you know, you're not Jorge Linares. You know, that was a, an older fighter. You're a, you're a fresh fighter that's in his prime as well. Is that what it's all about against Devin Haney, taking him into deep waters? It seems to be, because he hasn't been in those kind of fights yet, the doubt of whether he can swim in those waters. Is that your intention to make it very uncomfortable for him on that night and to, to rip that belt? Off his uh, absolutely, but it's not just that. It's just I feel like I'm at my prime. I feel like I've already took all the steps I needed to take to be at this point in my life and in my career. As far as you know, taking fights with Andrew Cancio, Rene Alvarado, um, Jesus Rojas, Tevin Farmer, Gary Russell Jr., Javier Fortuna, I already fought those top tier contenders. I feel like Devin Haney, he's a young fighter and he's he's a hungry fighter and he has a lot of experience and he has a lot of you know ego to him where he wants to go out and put on tough challenges but I just feel like he doesn't he doesn't have the experience that I have and I feel like that's gonna be the key fact the key factor to my my victory come December fourth. Do you feel like he has the toughness? We'll see. Devin, welcome. I know that like I said to you, your dad, absolutely all comments were welcome in December. Um, you two have been goading each other on social media. Finally you got the deal done. I know you respect Jojo Diaz as a fighter, but you feel this is the perfect fight at the perfect time for you to showcase to the world that you are the best lightweight on the planet. Yeah, first off, I want to you know, thank God. I thank my dad, Eddie Hearn, Metro, Dizone, my whole team. Um, I've been preparing for this fight for a while now. Um, I'm so thankful that the fight finally came. And I just can't wait to you know, show Jojo Diaz that you know, he, he can be a dog, but at the end of the day, skills pay the bills. And if that's his only approach, to, that he's going to dog me, I've been seeing that my, my, my whole career. So if that's if that's your, your your plan A, and you feel like that I'm just gonna let you dog me, and, and that's how you're gonna stop me, it's gonna be a long night. There seems to be still doubt from the, the players in the division about how good and how tough you are. You showed against the Nara's tremendous skill. You come through with slight adversity in that fight as well. Does it get you back up that, that you feel like you have to prove to these people? I mean, you know, Tio's been outspoken. He thinks that, you know, there's question marks over you. I know Jojo's been outspoken as well. But these fights are the fights that you need to showcase that. Lenares was the first step in that, and I feel like this is the perfect fight for you to show the world. At the end of the day, I don't feel like it is really any doubt with these guys um, with me, because at the end of the day, none of them are, are in a rush to fight me. Jojo Diaz wasn't in a rush to fight me. You know, we, I feel like we had to, we had to corner him to, to make him take the fight. And, and all these other guys, the same thing. They know my, they know my skill set. They know how much I bring to the table. And if Jojo didn't take, take this fight, the world would have, would have known, you know, what, what it, what it, what it really was. And uh, come December fourth, you know, it's, they're gonna see. I know a lot of people talking about Devin Haney against Tiafimo. Obviously, back to back on the zone as well, but there, there's always the chance of overlooking a great fighter like Jojo Diaz. That's not going to happen with you on December 4th. You're fully focused on this opportunity. Of course, everyone's talking about these super fights in the division, but I guess we all feel this is a super fight in the division. Of course, I can't overlook Jojo Diaz. Um, I know that he's going to come and fight. I mean, he's, he's, he's telling us that he's coming there to you know, try to dog me out. Um, and, I don't want to make it through this press conference without telling him, you know, thank you for taking the fight, you know, thank you for stepping up because most of these guys wouldn't even step up, you know, so I appreciate that. And, um, you know, I just can't wait. Uh, this, this is going to be a great fight. You know, Jojo Diaz is a dog. He, he's shown that. He's proven. He's, I do feel like he is in the prime of 
his career. So this will, it won't take nothing away from, this, from my victory when I win. We know he's aggressive. We know he's a dog, as you say. But you feel like that will suit you down to the ground. And Bill talks about he believes you will end this fight inside the distance. Is that the statement that you want to make on December 4th? At the end of the day, skills pay the bills. Um, you know, I've been seeing guys come at me and try to, to, to do everything they can to win for, for forever now. Um, I've always been a, a slick boxer, always had skills, so I didn't see it you know, over and over time and time again. Uh, so I do feel like his style will be you know, tailor-made for me. If there's nothing that he, can, that, that he can do to win. He can't outbox me. Uh, I will show him that he, he, he can't outbang me. I have the size advantage, I have everything, all the tools to win, which I am not without him. I know that he's going to come in there and try to do everything that he can to win, but I just feel like there's nothing that he can't do. Jojo, is, is that the only way to win, to out this guy? I mean, he's very, very skillful. Is that a bad idea for you, this young man? Well, when I say out dog, it's not just, you know, just throwing punches and stuff like that. I got all the skills and I got all the resume in the back of my mind, too, and in the back of my career. I mean, I'm a 2012 Olympian. I've fought all these tough fighters already, so it's not that I'm just the type of fighter that's just gonna bang it out. I'm not just gonna throw punches, just throw punches. When you say, I'm gonna break your ass down. Okay, when you say, I'm gonna break your ass down, bro. I'm gonna eat your ass down. Just be ready, bro. Just be ready. But just be ready. No, I really wanna ask you a real question. When you say experience, who have you fought like me that has a style similar to me? Who have you fought that that's like me? I'm not saying experience. You're the one saying experience. You, I told you, on paper, you're, the, you're my toughest test, but you said that you that you have more experience than me. Who have you fought like that, man? I'm not, I'm not talking about that, no, I'm talking about, all right, all right. yeah, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about everything that I've been through, as far as being hurt, as far as being cut. Bro, I'm gonna take you to places that you've never been. I'm gonna make you feel it's some it's shit. It's I'm gonna cut you on this. I'm, bro, I'm telling you, 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 you better hope that you got a good referee. And you better hope that you got a good referee. Oh, don't, don't, don't make excuses. Don't make excuses now. Don't make excuses now. I'm not making no excuses. Okay. I'm, right. I'm coming ready. Listen, I'm coming ready. I'm not worried about my referees. Just be ready, bro. Just judges. Just I'm gonna fuck you up. Sound good. Sound good. Sound good. Sound good. Sound good. December fourth. You don't want to miss it. I'm the zone at the MGM. <laughs> Jojo, final words from Buddy Farmer. You know that was that was on our show. That was a, a rough loss for us. You came back. You missed weight. You lost a little bit of focus, but right now you seem to be in the absolute prime, physically and mentally. This is really to go down as, you know, I guess you're already a great as a two-way world champion, but this is to go down as a, a true great of the sport as a three-way world champion. This is also to go down and talk about other massive fights in the division, Javante, Ryan, a massive life-changing opportunity for you. You're ready to do whatever it takes to be there with him. Exactly, and I, I know that Devin Haney is a very skilled fighter, and I know it's going to be a tough fight. I know it's going to be a tough fight, and I know we're going to bring it out. He's going to bring out the best of me, and I'm going to bring out the best of him. But then, at the end of the day, I know what I'm, I know what I'm about, and I know that there's a lot of stake for for myself. And I've been through everything already. I've been through all the ups and downs. I've been through all the trials and tribulations in my life and in my career. And now that I got my my son and my family, my little baby boy, man, that just brings me that extra motivation to just go out there and just risk all and set that ring. So I'm, I'm just gonna fuck him up. I don't care what you've been through. Bro, bro, you ain't got no skills. You got skills, bro. Right. You got skills. I'm gonna yeah, fuck you up. I got skill too, though. I got skill too, though. I, I got skill too, though. It don't matter what you've been through or what you've been through. That don't matter. We'll see. 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 Skills. Let's keep that jab up, right? Skills. Keep that jab up. Keep the game plan out now. Keep that job. Keep that job. Keep that job. Keep that Keep that inside. Using your team. Keep that with y'all. Let's I keep that job. I don't want to hear no excuses. Listen, you will see. Do you think you'll have to show God on December 4th for yourself? Skills, I mean, skills pay the bills. I'm going to show that. Just skills. You don't think you need more than that? Skills pay the bills. I'm going to show that. Well, Devin Haney, Jojo Diaz, December 4th. MGM Grand live on the zone. A tremendous fight night. Make sure you tune in or join us live in the arena. I believe this place is going to be completely sold out for a tremendous World Lightweight Championship as part of an unbelievable run in to close the year live on the zone. Gentlemen, we'll have a head to head up here, please.
going to beat you up. No, no deal. No lithium. No lithium. No No zero quill. No zero quill. No lithium. No, no deal. No, no deal. You ain't no deal. You ain't no deal. Top choice, wrong boy, fast to say alive. Lord Devin Haney, the king. Lord Devin Haney, the master. Lord Devin Haney, the master. Golden boy, King Satan. Yeah, so. Better be Haney. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.